What's going on you guys? Chris with Jigs Overboard here and it's uh, about 5, 5.15. Yep, 5.15 on the money. Um, we're going fishing this morning and uh, we're doing a lure review. We're going to be doing a lure review of the Lunker Hunt Skitter Lizard. Uh, I believe I said that right. Yeah, Skitter Lizard. So just kind of give you guys a little look-see. Kind of maybe in the light better. There we go. But yeah, it's just a topwater lizard, like a topwater frog. Let me pop one open real quick and give you guys a thing. But we're gonna do a review on it. Um, we're gonna hit, you know, one of our favorite ponds. It's got some good cover. And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. But uh, yeah, take a look. This is the lizard right here. Um, pretty cool. Uh, it's got hollow body. You can see right here, and it's got a stinger hook. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got a stinger hook, it's hollow body, tail looks like it provides a lot of action. Um, you know, it just kind of, it kind of impulse buy, it, you know, at the store. Um, but, you know, we're gonna throw this out there, we're gonna see what we can catch, and then uh, at the end of the video, uh, I'm gonna give you guys my uh, complete unbiased opinion on it and, and how it performs. And, and so let's, let's, hopefully, let's do good. But, you know, let's see how this thing performs. Uh, do some practice casts. You gotta burn it to get the uh, tail to go. All right, so. First time I've had a topwater bait that I absolutely have to burn. Did you have a blow up? Probably ought to walk around the other side and then we can go on that. I don't know how far that wall comes out. And I was thinking of the same thing, just kind of narrows in too. Oh, we can sneak, we can do it. Uh, I see some trees. Yeah, I'll be all right. All right, you do that, I'm gonna go on the other side. Forty. Both of these are forty. There it goes. Go and cast over here. And it does kind of make its way through the lily pads pretty good, but it flips over constantly. Thank you. 
was thinking of the same thing. Just kind of narrows in too. Oh, we could sneak. We could do it. Uh, I see some trees. Yeah, I'll be all right. Sounds good. Dude, that those those freaking gators will smash this thing. So I'm surprised we haven't had a single hit. Does that count as a hit? Oh! So close! Except for that gar. <laughs> well, it. Oh! <laughs> it ate it again! <laughs> right there, stop it. Twitch it. He, he completely missed it, so if you come over here and cast in that spot, you might get one. All right, we're in a new spot. We're at a particular park and I don't know if you guys can see, but look how clear this creek is. I mean, it is super clear. Do a couple casts. That's a horrible flip. See, you actually see, I don't know if you can or not, but the lure's upside down. Normally, if you can kind of give it a couple pulls, you'll either tangle it up or you get it right side, and then you can reel it in. Yeah, it tends to want to run like this. I think it's kind of like a, you know, boats. Like the look at the back, like a boat it's just so flat here. It wants to sit and float like that. If these legs have been pushed more down, like more towards the back instead of the belly, it might float better this way. The legs are what this back whole back reason is what causes it to sit like that. But I mean, once you get it going, it's got good action. Good action once it's going. It's kind of cool. Maybe let's do a couple casts here real quick. Oh, there's a baby alligator right there. Oh, let's see if Mr. Alligator wants the lizard. Yep, look. Baby alligator. Definitely was interested in that lizard. I really don't want to catch a baby alligator. Oh, he's coming in, see? He's right there. Oh, there he comes. It's kind of messing with him a little bit. He's small enough to where that wouldn't be a big problem if he did eat it. I can deal with a gator that size. Ooh, not today. Not today, sir. He just dropped under. Oh, there he is. There might be a good bass in here.
baby alligator really wants this little lizard. What do you think it is, bud? So now to notice he's not doing anything because it's not moving anymore. But if I... <laughs> that was close. Like he tried. See there, he just dropped under. He'll pop back up over here. Or over there. There he is. Right there. All right, we have officially moved away from Mr. Gator. He's still back over there. Oh, I see him. Oh no, he's he's coming. He's coming for it. Guys, we might actually catch an alligator today. Just, just saying. Oh shoot, I see a gar. Oh dang. Look, 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 he is. He's gunning. He's gunning. He's gunning for it. Gunning, 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 gunning. Nope. Psych. Yeah. He's probably gonna follow us around while we do all this fishing just because of I'm, I'm throwing top waters. If I was throwing something like under the water, like a jig or swim baits, probably wouldn't have to deal with the gator that much. It's just, this has to deal with the fact that, you know, he can see all of the stuff and it's noisy. Shit. Almost got stuck trying to keep it away from Mr. Gator. I don't even see him. There he is. Oh shit. He got the tail. Nope. Whew, he let go. Try to get a better grip on it and he let go. All right, that's my fault for keep casting here. I'm seeing some stuff that looks like there might be some fish here, but they might be bluegills or cichlids or maybe. So, and that last cast was, yeah, that was just gonna happen the way the way I presented that, he was just, it was gonna happen. But, there we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be a, come on, big old 10 pound bass, just blow this up and let me set the hook on you. And it's upside down. It still has a lot of action and being upside down. Major design. Oh, look at that. Another alligator's coming in. Checking out our lure. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get away from these guys, am I? All right, let's, let's get this guy over that way. Where are you hiding, bud? There you go. Look. Jesus, man. He's like hungry after it. He's a, a he's big. He's about as big as the one that stole my filthy frog down in St. Petersburg. Well, no filthy frog for you, bud. Only bass. Shoot. Oh man. <laughs> he saw me do it. It's only a six gear ratio. 
Ow, you missed it. <laughs> Talk about alligator infested water. This is lay down, tree lay down. Might be a good spot for some bass. I think there might be one over here somewhere. See, I'm, I'm nope, I'm not that good of a caster. Ah, and I'm in, I'm stuck in the tree. Okay, guys, we are officially down a skitter lizard. So, all right, guys. So, normally, I would have retied this knot. This is the worst union I've tied in a while, and I have a tag end that's sticking out. Um, normally, I have clippers. Um, and pliers and I realized I don't have either of those. I thought I put them in my pocket um, But I didn't apparently so Hopefully they're in the truck and I didn't like put them in my pocket and lose them in the grass cuz that would suck But yeah Okay guys, we are We're making the walk of shame back to the truck uh I don't know if you guys how much footage I'm gonna put in all this, but uh, we lost the other scatter lizard. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I lost it, so oh well. Problem was had a bit of a backlash develop in the reel, and I went to cast the line out to the other side of the bank on the other side of the canal system over there. There's a golf course, so I was gonna cast it up to the golf course and reel it in hi mr bunny rabbit but i was gonna cast it to the other side of the golf course and pull the line out fix the backlash and we we're gonna be good to go make our way around to a big loop unfortunately when i cast it i did a better backlash and locked the spool and it was a good cast or it would have been a good cast. But that skitter lizard started moving at probably Mach 7. And ping! Yeah. Broke the line. I checked it. And I thought maybe my knot came out. It wasn't the best of knots I've tied. Nope. It was most definitely the, uh, it was most definitely the line that snapped. Which, I mean, that's a lot of force to snap that. I was having trouble snapping the line just by pulling on it. But throwing it. Oh yeah, I can snap it. So we lost both the skitter lizards. But, uh, it wasn't the end. I mean, this was a cool video. Um, yesterday, we had two blow-ups on the skitter lizards. Uh, Josh had, had two, um, and I had one blow-up on it. Missed. We both missed it. Um, and then, of course, the alligators love the skitter lizard. I mean, just that action. So, uh, this video is intended to be a lure review for the skitter lizard. And I intend to do that. Um, Downside, we didn't catch a fish on the skitter lizard. I really wanted to catch a fish on the skitter lizard to, you know, show you that it can catch fish. Um, we had two blow-ups and a lot of alligator follows, and or I had alligator hook follows. Josh had two blow-ups. I had a blow-up yesterday. That tells me that it's a good lure. Um, you know, the fish definitely hit it, but you know, bass will hit a lot of things. But so. I want to go into the pros and cons of the skitter lizard. So, the pros. It is basically and effectively a hollow body weedless whopper plopper. That tail generates a lot of action on the surface. It's a lot of noise. It creates the whole bubble trail that you get with whopper ploppers. So, it's a weedless whopper plopper, which is great because there are tons of places that you want to like this, this whole creek system I was in, I don't think I would fish a whopper plopper in it because I feel like one, with my bad casting, um, and two, with just the amount of uh, plant life here, I would most definitely lose the lure, the whopper plopper or any other treble hook topwater, uh, treble hook period, I would lose it in here. There's no doubt in my mind. It's just not a good lure out here. So not necessarily the best lure I mean, trouble hook's not the best thing to throw out here, but the skitter lizard, 
you can throw it up on the bank and pull it through and pull it into the water. You can throw it through the pads, through the grass, through the mats. So you can do a lot with the skitter lizard that you can't do with whopper ploppers. Um, now, that is the best thing about it. Other than that, it has all the same pros of a hollow body frog. The tail, though, really creates the whopper plopper effect and does such a great thing for that lure. Now, the cons. Let's start with, it wants to ride upside down. It doesn't actually want to ride right side up. It wants to ride upside down, and that's not necessarily the best thing. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it's kind of dark there, so we're gonna kind of come back this way for a little bit. But yeah, it wants to ride upside down. Um, not really sure how to fix that. Uh, Lunker Hunt, if you guys see this and you guys have a fix for that, Please make a video so I can learn and buy more. But it wants to ride upside down a lot. It does also the hollow body part fills with water. And so it does start to ride lower in the water column than up on the surface. But you just increase the speed that you reel and it does better. That being said, uh, another um, con of it is the hooks. Um, the two frog hooks on it are they're pretty much effectively weedless so they stick out a little bit and they kind of catch foliage so not necessarily the best thing in the world i've noticed I actually hung up more with those hooks than i did the stinger hook which brings me to the other con of the stinger hook is it doesn't stay in place and more often than not it's actually hooked into the tail of the lure and that tail is solid um the back legs are solid it's just one of those things that um not doubting the design of it but there are some flaws with it so um also that back end is uh glued on and i think that if a fish were to like grab onto the tail and really pull uh the alligator that grabbed it um because i was too slow to pulling it out and pulling it away he grabbed it by the tail not the hooks by the tail and um he didn't want to let it go and so i was actually concerned that he might pull that tail off from where it's glued on. So I don't know necessarily how durable that is. Um, you know, we might do a second video where we pick it up and really torture test it and, you know, try to catch a fish on it. But as of right now, I think I used it a good bit to get a really good idea about it. Um, I probably most like, yeah, I'll buy it again. Absolutely. Uh, just for the action of it and being able to get it in places you can't get whopper ploppers and other treble hook topwater baits yeah i would definitely buy it again so it's definitely a cool lure um and and fishing it here i mean this is just i i would just definitely say this is just gator infested um i saw more alligators than i did fish uh the only actual fish i saw was a gar so but hey if you guys like this video um give it a thumbs up uh subscribe follow me um you know, Jigs Overboard 727, we're on Instagram and TikTok, so give it a follow. And if you guys go and check out our TikTok, uh, you'll see two lures that we will be doing videos for upcoming, and they're going to be really cool. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time on Jigs Overboard.